Welcome and hello my beautiful Leos. Brenda Tarot here with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of September the 19th to the 25th, 2022. Excuse me, bear with me while I try to get my microphone in the right position here. <clears throat> As you know, this is a general reading. Every single card here and the energy they carry may not resonate with every single one of you, but take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe to those that it does. Should you desire a private reading with me, all that information is posted below each and every single one of my videos how to contact me. My calendar is filling up very quickly next week. You'll see days where you can't get in, but there's still some available ones. So, okay, let's see what we have here, Leo, my beautiful lion. Starting off with your all-over energy card, and I'm using a new deck, and I <clears throat> just got this deck yesterday, and it's called the Kipper Fortune Telling Deck by Ciro Machete, and they're beautiful. So, so bear with me as I learn this deck. Anyhow, <clears throat> it's much like uh, other, you know, Lennerman ducks similar. But you've got the card that says unexpected income. So that is good news. So <clears throat> this is all about literally a small sum from an unexpected source. For example, a surprise work bonus, a small billing error, or a fix that happens because of it. And also maybe a reduction in your gas bill, your bonus, you know, cell phone minutes, uh, you know, anything like that. It can be, you know, it can also be, um, you know, uh, you know, some sort of sudden wealth that comes into you or just, just about unexpected things that can happen uh, where you find that you've got resources and money that you didn't expect. So it's always something lucky with this card. And usually financial activities such as a raise or unexpected money from work or investments. And, you know, it's a card for, for signing formal contracts as well. And it's all about that. So something may occur in about two weeks is what this card is indicative of as well. So get ready. There could be something great coming in that you didn't know about. And you could be getting it. You could be inheriting something. You could be getting some unexpected bonus raise. Anything, some money coming in, which is a really good news. So <clears throat> let's move on and see what we've got here with our other energy cards. You've got a goal-oriented person. So this could be you uh, reaching for your goal, stepping out there, but it could also be somebody that you're going to be in contact with who could be a very powerful connection for you because they want to promote you and help you and work together with you to, uh, to you know, go towards the same goal here. Uh, you know, look at the bullseye here. They, you know, obviously setting your sights and going for exactly what you want. The month of June came up and I wanted to clarify what that month of June might mean. And we got the fair-haired woman dealing or relationship with a woman with blonde gray or white hair so something could be coming in here this this money maybe is could be coming in from this woman maybe you're inheriting something you know maybe they're they they've come in they've decided that they want to uh help promote you here uh to help you build up your goal and go towards your goal maybe it has to do with education a business anything like that but or maybe they're coming in to help you out because they know that you need this help maybe something going to happen in June. We know that June is all about weddings and maybe there's going to be a wedding and maybe perhaps this person is going to step up in June and help you with part of that bill uh, to, to help promote you so that you can get ahead here if there's something happening in June. And I think it could have to do with this particular woman and receiving some unexpected money or bonus that's going to help you out. So interesting. Now, coming in in your first row, you've been given the Queen of Pentacles pardon me, the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Cups. So this is definitely, you know, you've got two core cards here. This is definitely standing, you're, you know, standing uh, up for yourself and going for your goals here. You know, I do believe that there's a target that you're reaching for and you and you're going to reach it. You know, maybe it's something that you're planning on for the month of June here right? And so you're, you're going to stand your ground and go for it. You know, th this comes usually with a picture of the black cat at her feet in traditional tarot with the Leonard, with the, uh, pardon me, the Rider weight deck. But she's sitting here very proud, very strong, very, very confident in her role here as she sits in her kingdom and overlooks all these people here that may, may be, you know, saying, hey, you know, she's, she's got the power now to do this. And I think you're going to get recognized for doing something here. But this is a card that says stay focused 
focused. Keep going for what you want. Don't back down. Don't allow anybody to determine the direction you want to go or your happiness. In other words, uh, the, the doubters out there. You know, she's the queen that, you know, pretty much gets, flips them the bird and says, yeah, watch me. The Knight of Cups comes in and the Knight of Cups is that energy of feeling as though you're falling in love with something or someone. They show up at the, at, you know, they come charging in and they literally sweep you off your feet. This individual could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio or not. Um, but you're going to feel as though this energy is really, really going to pick you up and you're going to feel wonderful. Now, this could be a proposal too because you do have this June card here which leads me to think that there could be maybe a wedding in June um, you know looking at this angel here with the white wings and she's got the little crown and there's flowers around she almost looks like a little wedding angel but I do think that something's going to come into play here this could be a, someone new coming in that you didn't expect would show up uh, but definitely this is this feeling of, of puzzle pieces connecting and this person almost comes in and it's like you say they rescued you at that moment that you needed help so stay focused on your goal uh, you're working towards don't allow anybody uh, or any of the doubters out there to dissuade or try to persuade you not to do something this is something you need to stay focused on you've got the two of swords coming in next Leo with a beautiful card the ten of cups and you've got ten of cups twice this is the card of happy ever after you know setting your setting your goals going for them meeting the right person cups filling up with love and happiness and harmony and also knowing that you're going to be you know there is a rainbow here and usually we associate that with the rainbow and the cup filling here so good energy coming in happiness in home life relationships and even feeling secure in your finances you could have to balance yourself here though there could be a decision or a choice that you don't want to make right now and it's because you're not seeing the picture in complete clarity so you have to keep your mind open and your eyes open to see something completely clear for others this could have to do with dealing with a legal situation in the court system where you will have to get representation and counsel to lay things out in a fair and equitable way and if you're opposing with if you have opposing energy with another person then you'll be able to walk away i do see compromise and, and you both will end up satisfied at the end of the day but this is about you you know feeling challenged with yourself and not wanting to make a decision and it's because you're not seeing the situation in clarity but I do think for some of you there's going to be some real great happiness here uh, especially in a relationship and possible wedding coming up coming next you've got in the center position you've got the Queen of Pentacles and the page of wands or rods as they call it here uh, wonderful opportunities are presenting themselves that are, that's going to allow you to uh, you know to walk in your garden of abundance here uh, you know you you truly are wanting to be happy here and you're going to have the choice coming in here and it could have to do with decisions and choices you're making here but I do think you're going to have resources here coming in in the form of, of you know uh, possibly money i mean this is the pentacles but the pay, the queen of pentacles she has that ability to uh you know to walk in her garden of abundance and also to she's like mother earth she what she plants she she grows what she nurtures she she heals so i do believe that you're you're planting your seeds now to go towards some prosperity and i think it might have to do with your job and your career where you're going to find that you're going to have offers and opportunities and lots of things to do here with this new career change they're telling me there's going to be a change here for some of you this is the, the page of rods coming in here with that good news you know you changing your ways to go into a new position here you could be getting the offer of a you know a new job a, uh, you know something like that something exciting but it's always exciting news and when this shows up okay I think you're goal oriented this week you're, you're working towards something here as you move through and you're going to hear that some do doors of opportunity are going to be opening to you also you could be thinking about you know taking a new course of study you might be trying to amp up your level up your uh, your expertise on your on your resume so that you can apply for the right job you can you can you know you can do your job even better I think you know this is all about you know uh, moving forward here and getting opportunities that are going to present themselves okay uh, you know don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone here and go after something new right um, you know stay positive um, and also you could be traveling somewhere you might be going the distance for something here uh, as well but be flexible okay because opportunities are starting to present themselves for you coming in next you've got the page of swords you had the page of wands now you have the page of swords but you got the sun with it which makes me happy so the page of swords is all about 
hearing about something coming in again that could be very exciting in your life but it's also saying that you're going to hear something that might be brought into you by someone who doesn't present it in a mature manner okay um, <clears throat> you know you need to gather evidence and study and gain knowledge about a situation and it might stop you here when you get this message you know you might have had plans and all of a sudden you hear about this and you go oh now I got to deal with this okay so keep the communication going um, make sure that you know you're verbally uh, uh, you know communicating with someone um, as well keep your own counsel and pay extra attention to how you're communicating verbally and what you're writing in messages right now <clears throat> so this is all about you know meaning that you're going to hear about something here okay and it's going to make you change your plans but I do believe it could have to do also with education here you're getting educated on something here okay it's about communicating <clears throat> with somebody but it's also about you know study and gaining knowledge about certain things as well the Sun best card in the deck you know that it's all about happiness it's all about um, you know looking towards your future with promise and finding that things are going to turn out in your favor so it's a beautiful beautiful card as we know uh, when we talk about it being the best card in the deck for high high energy for being able to look towards your future uh, with happiness and you know achievement and warmth and security and you're excelling and all of those things it's all about positivity um, but it also predicts the arrival of a baby or the start of a new relationship here as well so this this could be coming into play too wow and maybe that's going to be something happening in June here we go again Ten of Cups. Yeah, it doesn't get much better than that. You know, I love the Ten of Cups. We all do. I mean, you got the Sun and the Ten of Cups. Oh, boy. If we could all get this in our reading this week, things would be wonderful. So you're definitely moving forward into new direction. You're going to have happiness, harmony, and peace in relationships, in marriages, uh, in partnerships of any kind. Your Cups are filling now with abundance, and it's beautiful. You may have been in a place, though, where you were feeling that you were fighting the world on your own and where you were thinking about the past and, you, you know, really uh, maybe... Um, feeling and grieving and healing through your past here but this says get out of your head don't allow yourself to think that this beautiful life can't be yours okay this is all about as I said happiness is a byproduct of action take the action happiness is a choice we need to get ourselves out of this rut when we start thinking about the past and what we and the losses and unhappy situations that we dealt with and something didn't work out in our favor we have to let that go throw it out into the universe my beautiful Leos let it go freely and forgive it and let it go because you deserve this happiness that is coming in you've got it twice and you've got the Sun this is amazing so I do think you're gonna see happiness here you've got unexpected income you know this is a beautiful reading so don't allow yourself you could be just reminiscing and thinking boy how, how things were and how great things are now okay my beautiful Leos this is your reading for this week and always know I stand in this circle of love and light for you and I'll see you soon